News Now, California, out in the city of Hermosa Beach. I'm at the Hermosa Beach Police Department and City Hall. So oh, here we go right here, no plates, no front plates there, cop car, cop car, cop car. So police vehicle parking only and he's got illegal tent. Good for, good for the police to have illegal tent, but not for us. So, here's the uh, police chief, it's vacated today, he's not here. And then we got the police and fire vehicles all down here. They've got this gated access, so there's no pedestrian access from the back of uh, the police department out onto uh, this street, which is called Pier Avenue. So no parking here. So all of this is no parking. And tow away. Police vehicle parking only. Okay, I see where it says that on the door. But I don't see anything on this door that says police vehicle parking only. Yep. It's typical bullshit. got no parking this side so here's a truck right here and it's marked but yet it's all red with a sign no parking this side
So there's people living right behind this uh, fire truck. Not a great location because you're going to hear that thing every time that siren goes on. See how they're going to explain the parking situation all in the red back here. Hey, good, good. Yeah, can somebody uh, explain to me, or maybe you or somebody here, on the parking situation in the rear, the back? I have some questions about it. Okay, let me get the watch commander for you, okay, sir? Watch commander? That would be fine. Right, that's what I that's what my shirt says. I don't answer questions. All right, sir, watch commander's on his way. So it, was it important that you told him my attire on the phone? What does that have to do with anything? I want to I want to just make sure he knows what he's coming up to, okay, sir? He's coming up to a concerned citizen. That's all that he needs to know. You're already giving me a negative connotation. What's your name, officer? Officer, what's your name? You're not going to identify yourself, officer? My name is Officer Plata. Plata? Yes, sir. What's your badge or serial number, Officer Plata? 91. Thank you, Officer Plata. It had been a lot easier after the first question, not three times. Doing good, okay. good. I've got a question for you about the parking in the back. So I understand parking in the back where behind the police station, city hall there that there's no access, pedestrian access to Pier Avenue. It's gated off right. back there. So I understand that it's marked all red in, in on the lines, and police are parked there because it's delineated with white. And you got maybe the city never got to changing the color. So I understand that. Okay. The other side, you have actual lines that say no parking that go all the way on the other side and the whole length of it is that way except towards the end there's one sign on like a garage building that says police parking okay so i understand that and there's a car there my question is when you go past that there's no other signs and it's all marked off no parking how is it that someone's parking there well all of that stuff except for two parking spots Two parking spots are reserved for the the building, uh, the antique store. They have an easement to have those two parking spots. Nobody else is allowed to park back there any longer because they've closed it off because of two reasons: public facility, right, safety, gotcha, officers, gotcha, guns and cars, sure. And the number two thing is because the fire department has a requirement. The state of California requires them to have a secure facility, sure. For the medication that is in the back of the paramedic rig. Okay. 
So that's why that's there. Okay. okay. So, so then, why is the police car parked there when it shouldn't be? If it's delineated just for what you said. Well, th that's still in the process. The whole thing is in the process. There is no public parking at all back there. Okay. So what you're saying is, even though it says no right, even though it says no parking. Uh, and it's delineated with red lines, you can still park there as, as being a public official. Employees of those two departments. Okay. Now, obviously you could tell that the whole job, the construction is not finished. They're still working on uh, the gates. That's why you probably had access to go back there and take a look. Well, a actually Hello. what it said, Anyone? see when I read it, mm -hmm. at first when I saw it, it said, uh, I saw the, the the body, the stick figure with a line and said no pedestrian. And then I read it closer and it says no pedestrian access to pier. Right. So what I figured was, hey, I'm still allowed to go back there. You're still allowed to go back there. Right. Right. Because yeah. there's no no yeah, access to Pier Avenue. Right. It's it's it is a process that is still undergoing. That's okay. So that answers that. So after it's all done those lines will be taken away where it says no parking and, and then you'll delineate where the cops can park on that side? Well, they're going to, you gotta, you gotta be mindful of the crisis of this particular city with parking. Right. Okay. We used to park where the fire department and walks uh, sits now. Right. Right. So, uh, you know, they've gone through a lot of things. Those are not our decisions that are made. That's public works, city council, okay. yada, yada, yada. Okay. So we just go with it. We are told that we can park back there. Okay. 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 And sometimes there's, there's public works. Sometimes there's uh, extra fire service vehicles. Sometimes there's the contractors who are working there who are taking up other spots. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. I saw that. So we have to keep our vehicles back there at some point somewhere. I, I understand. I just wanted to clarified for my sure. edification so you explained it well I appreciate okay. it and uh, the only other issue I had was just coming in here asking uh, a question and uh, when this officer uh, went to uh, say what I wanted he had to describe my attire with this saying why is that important that shouldn't be important and I asked him why is that important that you're describing that he says I want to know what they're coming up to you know hey I asked him for his name mm -hmm. three times on the third time he finally gave it okay and you have it yeah, I got okay. it. But, you know, you're very professional. Maybe you need to train him to be professional. I'll talk to him. All right. Yep. Have a good day. Right. Alcatus? Alcatus. Is that Greek? It is. All right. You've been to Greece? I have. I used to live there. What island? Well, I've been to Mykonos, Santorini, Rhodes, Crete. Oh, yeah, Crete. Uh, I, 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 I lived on uh, Crete. Oh, I worked, really? I worked in Lutro and okay. uh, Horosovkia. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. I've only been there for a few days, so I don't know too much of the, yeah, the names of the Mykonos cities. Mykonos and... Uh, uh, that was from when I was younger. Yeah, man. It's, it's all expensive. <laughs> it's too very commercial. Expensive. I like the Greek yep. villages. So, uh, yep. yeah, get your pension, go back there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks right. for taking the time. No worries. Any other Take, questions? That's it. All right. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Let's see if he talks to him. The guy was mindful enough to say, I'll talk to him, which I was surprised. Of course, he came off first and said, did you get it? Yeah, I got it. That's not the point. The point is he should have answered me the first time and not make me ask him three times. But he knew I wasn't going to give up. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this little dilemma that we got through. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed everything. On to the next one. Overall, I'd say Hermosa Beach Police Department is a pass. Take care, all. Bye now.